I'm Dr. Edith London. I am a senior faculty member at the University of California, Los Angeles, primarily in two departments, the Department of Psychiatry and the Department of Pharmacology. I can tell you that allyship has really grown over the past several decades. I entered science in the late 1970s. The world was very different then. There were very few role models for me. And those role models with whom I connected were very, very important to me. One of them is the late Dr. Marion Fishman, who um, stood up at a scientific meeting when I was being criticized by an older scientist for doing the first studies of administration of cocaine to humans to study the effect on brain function. Uh, I was a very young scientist. I was in a room full of men. She got up and she said, this is important research and there's nothing empirical to show that this kind of research can contribute to addiction. That was very important. And it was important for me to see not only how she developed her own career, but it was important for me to see how she mentored her younger scientists. She was a very generous mentor, and I try to emulate that kind of behavior in my relationships with my trainees. It's important for us to realize that individuals from underrepresented backgrounds including those who go to universities that are not Ivy League universities, uh, may have gaps in their training. And that doesn't mean they can't be successful. And so I make it my business to uh, understand that it may take a little bit longer. There may be a little bit more support that's required with the understanding that as soon as the trainee develops on his or her own, they really need to be given enough encouragement to be brave and do the things they want to do and to think big. The best example of um, success that I've had is a young woman who um, was working as a fashion model while she was going to college. Her name is Dr. Gershom uh, Wilkerson Dent. She started working with me when she was 17. Uh, we were together for 11 years and um, Gershom is the head of Discovery Medicine for AstraZeneca Corporation right now. The way we can see that allyship is working is that we're beginning to see people in positions that they never would have been in before. The workforce has changed, science has changed. There are a lot of women in the field right now. I think the changes have come about because there have been some very strong people and strong voices who made it into high level positions. Um, Bernadine Healy um, uh, started the Women's Health Initiative. I think that in representing underrepresented groups in efforts to promote diversity, equity, and inclusion, I would advise my colleagues to really contribute to the system. Be a member of those committees. It pays to be an ally. It can really bring you joy for the rest of your life.